ladies. Good morning, afternoon, or wherever you're at. So I woke up this morning to a um, screenshot in my timeline, and it was about a journalist named Tanya Gold. I'm going to read it to you. It says, the new mannequin is obese, and she is not readying herself for a run in her shiny Nike gear. She cannot run. She's more likely pre-diabetic on her way to a hip replacement replacement what type of cynicism is this on part of nike so this um if you look right here this is part um this is the screenshot and she was talking about the nike plus size mannequin and at first i was like who is this little bitch talking about you know i, I was hype you know what i'm saying i was hype and i said but you know what this can't be a little woman that's talking like this this isn't the way things are um us plus size fit ladies, we inspire other women of all sizes. And especially little women, women that are like, um, you know, they're, they, they know that they've been small their entire life. So when they see a big girl doing what they've done or wanted to do, they get inspired. Usually when it's backlash like this or issues, it's usually a woman that used to be big, that lost weight, that forgot where she started from. All of a sudden is, they, they become, they, they start to bash other plus size women. So I said, let me look her up. And lo and behold, yes. If you can see in the two pictures, the one on her bottom was her before. And this is her in her top. So this is like 2009. I don't know what she looks like now. This is what happens. When a woman is in her large state and she doesn't love herself. And she doesn't love herself that much. Damn fly. Ugh. That she doesn't love herself that much. That when she loses the weight, she automatically assumes that now she is lovable and she's great. And she's now her body is worth being loved. So anyone who is in their prior state, she pushes off the way she felt about herself on other women in that, in, in that size and that scope and the things that they're doing. And it's wrong. And, but for some reason it's, it's, for some reason it's still there. And a lot of women don't see that that's what they're doing. When you see a plus size woman fucking it up in the gym, running, doing things, that's it. it she's in her journey at that moment. This woman has said, you know what? I used to be this. I used to sit on the couch. I used to not be able to do any of this stuff. Now that I can, and I'm not going to wait until I'm a size 1, 2, 3, 4, 10 before I show you how great and how strong I am. I'm showing you now that I'm strong within me in the size that I am now as I work towards the goal I'm going for. Those are the women that you see busting it out plus size. Those are the women that Nike are going after. They're like, listen, we see you doing the damn thing and we want to help you in comfortable clothing. Do you know how hard it is as a big woman to work out and clothes meant for smaller women? Ah, uh, the elastic is in the wrong fucking places. You, you get... Uh, no, no. So it's not that it is trying to say, oh, let's let's make women gain weight and say that you can do, you know, work out. You don't have to be smaller or whatever. No, it's saying, listen, we see you. We see what you're doing. We support you and we want to make comfortable clothes for you to do the damn thing in. So Miss Tanya Gold, shut the fuck up. Sit down. We see that you've lost weight. Enjoy your new body, but you don't have the right to shame us. You don't have the right to say anything. You don't have the right to sit there and say someone can't run or has type 2 diabetes. The only thing you should be saying is, great job, Nike. Great job for seeing that there are women in all sizes that are in this fit community that are doing the damn thing. So that's my piece on it. That's going to be what I'm going to say on it. And I'm about to get up and fuck it up and work out this morning. Y'all have a good one.